Hey guys, and welcome to Couch in the Mind, Clearing the Mind, One Couch Talk at a Time. On today's te- episode, episode 10, we're going through the topic of the TikTok message. In that, I mean, some people might use TikTok as a way of building their uh, following base, whether it be on, uh, through social media, Facebook, Instagram, those sort of things. But for a bloke that I met through TikTok, Aaron Hubert, who's going to be joining me today. How you going, man? Good, buddy. Yourself? Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, so Aaron Cupid, I, I stumbled across just um, scrolling through TikTok and essentially, and we'll go through it at some point in this video, Aaron hit quite a large number of views on one particular video he put up on, on TikTok. And through that, he's now creating mental health videos and in, um, in the aim to help someone get through something negatively. So um, as always, guys, in every video, discretion warning, what you may hear today might uh, make you feel quite uncomfortable. Um, if, if that, if you get to that at any point today, feel free to pause the video or stop it. But if you if you want to continue to watch it, then continue to do so. But uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll hand it over to Aaron, and um, he'll give give us a bit of a backstory of how he got into TikTok and, and where he's at within his life. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, well, my TikTok story TikTok story started um, as a bit of a joke with the kids. Yeah. A bit of a laugh. Um, yeah, a bit of a laugh. And um, I did a road one on road work. I did a bit of a road dance and, and um, it went off yeah. massively. And um, yeah, so it went off and I thought I could build on this as myself. I've lost four good mates in the last 12 months. Yeah, sorry um, to hear that, mate. Yeah, no, and it really hurt. I had... Um, Really hit hard. I had a fair few weeks off work. Mm. Um, I was the last one they called in two of the times before it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and <clears throat> the calls weren't obviously pleasant at all. Um, and their partners are ringing me in them situations. For sure. Um, and um, I hope you don't mind me asking, what actually got you out of that dark time and, and go you into the stage of actually wanting to help others where, where you're at a stage where you know you're you're feeling good within yourself especially going through things such as that um yeah it hit it hit home i traveled a fair bit for work mm. um i was never home for virtually the last four years um yeah and these blokes my mates were in that kind of game too yep. and um, it takes its toll yep. on, you, on you and, um, yeah, I wanted to get the message out there that yep. um, you can talk. No matter what, talk. It doesn't matter. You, these day, this day and age, you've got to talk about it, no matter what. And, and what do you think caused the struggle within, um, you know, to, to the point of, of suicide? Like, what, what do you think went through these blokes' minds to, to want to do these things to themselves? Is it, is it because of the, the whole masculine stereotype that as guys we're perceived to be, I guess, upholding within ourselves? That's 100% it. That is 100% right. Yeah. 100%. They don't, mainly blokes, they don't feel like they can talk to anyone about it and they hold it in, bottle it up to the stage where it gets too much and... Yeah. They do something there, something like that, yeah. Yep. And in terms of yourself, how, how are you going mentally now? I'm I'm good. Yeah. I'm I'm fine. Like I get asked a lot, which I appreciate in my inboxes. Yep. Um but I'm fine. I just want to get the message out there. Yeah. And um I'm perfectly hundred percent fine. Um yeah, I just want to get it out there, and if I can use that TikTok base as it and build on that, um, um, if I can save one one person, um, That's I'm it. happy. Yeah. And to those who haven't actually seen any of the videos that Aaron creates on TikTok, I'll, I'll obviously put his information in the uh, the link below. But the way he goes about it is a very laxed approach, and that it's a um, some of the videos he puts out are quite lighthearted and, 
he ta- he is you seem like the kind of bloke that likes to take the piss out of yourself. And yeah, and that, yeah, that's a good thing. And I think you're very approachable. Um, I mean, I, I've only had a couple of phone calls with you now, and and I I feel 100% comfortable with you and in talking about this stuff, especially. And I think to anyone who who is new to listening to you, I think they'll get a lot of out lot out of you, man. So um, from you know, for me personally, I I just want to say that keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a really good thing. And and the fact that you said to me off air that you you sometimes wake up with 200 plus inboxes for people from people struggling, saying that they they're in need of help and assistance, or a video that you've created has helped them in one way or another is is awesome, man. So just keep doing what you're doing. Nah, cheers, buddy. And that's what like I'm not a qualified counselor or anything, yeah. but if you can help or if I can talk to people about it and then point them in the right direction, um, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing good. And what was it yesterday? Yesterday I woke up to 284 message inboxes. So, wow. Um, yeah, I'll just try, try and talk to people as much as I can and get it out there and, um, yeah, it's the worst thing holding it in, and you got to talk to someone about it. You got to talk to. And it's one of those things as well. Until you actually get yourself involved with that particular social media platform, and you're starting to build a following base, such as what you're doing, and what I'm doing in my podcast series, you don't actually realise how bad mental health really is. I mean, you've obviously been through a very difficult time, having seen some very close mates commit suicide. But outside of that bubble, you think that everyone is kind of doing well, um, that, that there's more to life than mental health. But once you really delve into it and then you get the inboxes and you get the messages every day, you, you really find out how bad it truly is and how you know something really needs to be done about it. Yep, 100%, 100%, bro, and it's, it's, it's everywhere. Um, in construction, I've had a lot of blokes at work and that talk to me about everything there too. They've seen my TikToks and everything and um, yeah, and they've opened up and talked to me about it and yeah, just, just trying to get out there as much as possible. Is there a particular reason as to why you chose TikTok to, to convey your message of mental health? Um, well, after the following and the response I got to me, the main one, yeah. um, I thought I could build on this and everything hit me. Like I lost, like I said, I lost three mates in that quick time, a total of four. Yeah. So um, me mates, missus, uh, wives and all that um, said, look, can you, we've got to try and stop this somehow. And I've, I immediately jumped on it, come to it and I'm like, right. I'm going to do it this way yeah, and get the message out there and uh, try my best. And, um, yeah, like I said, I mix it all up. To, mm. you know, but I am pretty much a clown anyway, like like I said, at, at work. you got to have a laugh. And then I do, do the stuff. And then, I, like I said, I do that dance in shopping centres and stuff for the kids. I do it everywhere. It doesn't matter. But, and then I try and mix it all into everything and then have my serious stuff. And it, when I'm serious, I'm serious about it. And then people know it. So, that's um, it. And yeah, I, I enjoy doing it. And it, ha- it was overwhelming there a little bit. I'll, I'll let you, I'll tell you that. I think one night I woke up to like 800 something messages. Wow. And so, did that, did, do you do you find that it's it's hard to take it all in at like you know in stages? Yeah, yeah, definitely, and it it still takes time. Like I try and go through an hour an hour a night of messages, an hour a mm. night because I work long hours, um, just to try and get back to people. And yeah, but I'm trying my best. But um, yeah, it's it, it's all good. I don't, I don't mind. I've just got to keep up with it all so yeah that's it and it's so you were saying to me off off um air that you were you're working as a is it a linesman or no nah, just road worker so yep. I, I, work on. yeah so build roads operate machines um, yeah 
yeah, what whatever needs to be done on major projects. So, yeah. Yeah, the reason, reason why I ask is because I think in the trade industry especially, mental health is, is something that isn't spoken about enough in that, like, in, in, in modern days in society, we are getting a lot better about talking about these particular things, but I think the trade industry is, is still lacking behind a lot. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%, but yeah, I've had, like I said, I've had blokes come up to me and talk about things and which you wouldn't think, you wouldn't yeah. pick them, you wouldn't pick them like that, so, which is good. It's getting out there and, um, yeah, um, glad. like I said, if I can help this one one person, male, female or anyone, oh, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I, for, me, for me personally, I'm in a really good state at the moment, having gone through a bit of a pebble patch in the past as well. But even seeing some of the videos that you've put up on TikTok, just going through my feed, it's, it's had such a big positive impact on me and I'm not struggling immensely. So I can only imagine the people that are really struggling in need of assistance seeing your videos and, and going, finally, this is exactly what I needed. It's not, it's not too full on. Um, I might not particularly want someone behind the desk who, who I can talk to who doesn't have that uh, real life experience. I want something a bit more lighthearted. I want someone to have a bit of a joke about certain things so that's easy to talk about it. And I think um, in, in a bundle, that's you, mate. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. I've, yeah, I've met someone through, on TikTok, um, a woman. She's bloody awesome in every way. Um, hey. And, and she's helped me. She's helped and she's there. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, can talk nice. to her. I can see she means a lot because you're, you're starting to blush a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, she is. She's, yeah, she's wonderful. So. Yeah, but um, the TikTok has helped with that as well you know i didn't think i'd find anything like that on that but i wasn't there for that i was there for this amazing yeah. to get the message out and 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 beyond tiktok is there anything else anything else in terms of platforms or anything in general that you want to give a go in terms of trying to broaden your uh, audience um not at the moment um there will be will be soon there will be there will be something else coming soon. So, um, yeah. I did. I did see. I did see a TikTok. Big things are coming. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep posting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, mm. and yeah. I mean, it's it's great being able to sit down and have this conversation with you. In that, I, I mean, I've never really, I've never met you, but similar to to you meeting the lady you're now seeing, we have found our common ground, and that we've both gone through some tough times in the past. And we're both wanting just to help at least one person, you know, guide them back onto the track of of healing, Got, having gone through stuff that's been quite negative toward themselves. And like I said just before, I just want to say, for me personally and from Couch the Mind, on behalf of Couch the Mind, I just want to say, you know, we're proud of you for what you what you're doing, mate. Especially in the trade industry, it's extremely difficult trying to get yourself out there and talk about these things. I mean. I hope you don't mind me. How how old are you, Aaron? Uh, 41. Yeah, so especially of your age demographic, working in the trade industry, it's very difficult to be able to do this. And so you've got to, like, pat yourself on the back, mate, because you're doing a great job. No, cheers, mate. And just want to say what you're doing is awesome too. So Thanks, um, I'll be getting your message out there too. It's putting more, pointing more people your way. Um, let's keep it up and don't stop it. Um, that's awesome. Awesome, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. And in terms of the, you know, I'm going back a little bit, but in terms of the lady, the uh, the women that are now by themselves, um, the mates that you've you've lost, how are they going? And what are they what have they found that has helped them? And and the reason why I ask is just because if if there's someone watching or listening in right now that's that's only recently lost a loved one, have they found certain things? Uh, that have been quite positive in, in the, the healing process of getting them back on the right track. Yeah, yeah, like they're um, obviously they're coming to grips with it all, but they actually felt like watch all my videos as well because they know I'm putting it out there. And um, there's still a lot of people um, 
are too afraid to say anything in comments, comment on anything, so they'll inbox yeah. you. Yeah. Um, which is fair enough. At least they're saying something about it. They don't want everyone to know, you know. Um, so, but, yeah, they're getting it out there and the more we just promote it, talk about it, um, the better the better the world and everyone will be. So you, so you found, so you think that, through social media, that's that's how they've they've uh, gone to a better headspace. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Really? With with humour, humour, seriousness, and and tragedy. So yeah. Wow, wow, that's fascinating because a lot a lot of people would say you're not in a good headspace. Go see a counsellor. Go see a psychologist. This and that. And I'm not saying that that is a bad thing to do but I think maybe finding someone who's gone through similar things such as yourself and finding that common ground and you know finding reliability so that I just find that if you've got that it makes it easier to to get over things I mean don't get me wrong like I just said the uh your health professionals are great you know in their particular field of work and if if what we're we're, we're um, both myself and Aaron are saying right now isn't helping you um, to the extent that you want you want assistance with, by all means go go get help. We're just we're just trying to get our message out there. And if you want to jump on board with it, then by all means go for it. But if you if you're not happy and it's not working for you, then uh, you know I 100 percent suggest going and see uh, Beyond the Blue or counsellor or psychologist, whatever it may be. But I think the starting process is just talking to people that have gone through similar things. Yep, that's it. That's it. Just talk. Talk. Get it off your chest and talk. And growing up for yourself, because obviously you're in a different of a different age demographic as myself, was it difficult actually opening up and talking about these things? Yeah, it was to start off with, yes. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah get that macho man thing you know like you can't go talking about that or anything like that um yeah we're like your parents for or against it no they're for it yeah they're for it like Like, growing up as growing up as well they were for it because obviously times have changed now times have changed so back then it wasn't really talked about um but now modernly it is they they see all my like, videos and stuff, so yeah, they they're supportive supportive of it. So yeah, no, that's awesome, mate. Yeah, if, like uh, if if you've ever got anyone who's is wanting more assistance, feel free to to you know bring them toward my podcast series. Maybe someone who's opened up on, on one of my episodes may have somewhat of a relatability towards some of the things that they're going through. Yeah, yeah definitely, bro. That's well. We're definitely doing that. That's the aim. Like it's it's good to see how many people are, are viewing my videos because you go, oh well, wow. like I'm, I'm obviously hopefully making a positive impact on someone's life, and the more the merrier, per se. But if if I can just continue to get new people on board and board in my you know, viewership, and that's that's ultimately what I'm trying to achieve. Yeah. Uh, cheers, bro. I'll be I'll be working something out there to to make a video and doing it that way so definitely fantastic brother and is there anything else you'd you'd like to to go over or mention in the uh, episode before we wrap it up um any is it much pain all it doesn't have to be on anything in specific just anything in general just you know whatever's on your mind mate just get it out there um just be you be be you be, be yourself. Don't worry about what people are going to think about you. If something's bothering you, let it out. Or if you know, like, if you're worried about the way you look or anything like that, don't worry. Don't don't worry about that. Just be you. Be yourself. Don't let anything get to you. And take every day as a new day, and just just go with it. Just every day is a new day. That's it. And take it. Take take every day as a blessing. In that, if What's happened? Uh, what, what's happened today may be negative, but tomorrow's a new day. It's, it's time to brush it aside and start off fresh. And that's something that 
a lot of people struggle with, but it's, it's something that needs to be done a lot more. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But again, mate, I really appreciate you taking up your um, Thursday night to have this conversation with me. I know you're a very busy man working on the roads and um, doing the odd dance when you can. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to, got to do a new dance in the next week or so. <laughs> we might hit, for, for those who don't know, his first dance hit 650k. So what do you reckon? Do you reckon it'll be 650? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you, mate. But, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, mate, because you're having a positive impact on others. And don't, don't worry about what, you know, the your haters or trolls say about you because most likely the people that say shit are the ones that are struggling the most. That's it. No, that's, that's it. Take the good with the bad and yeah, all good. No, fantastic, mate. And we'll be sure to, I definitely want to catch up with you at some stage when the borders open, um, grab a bite to eat and, and think about other ways that we can reach out to those that are struggling. That sounds good, buddy. Anytime. Fantastic, mate. Anyways, this has been topic 10 of Capturing the Mind, Clearing the Mind, One Couch Talk at a Time. The topic we went over today was the TikTok message. And today, to help me out, was Aaron Cupid. And yeah, it's been a fantastic episode. And I hope you guys have got something out of it. And if you have, feel free to message me on our, my social media platforms. And um, underneath the, the video, I'll put down Aaron Cupid's link below for his TikTok account if you guys are willing and wanting to see uh, what he's, what he's um, trying to create. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic night and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks, Aaron. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it.